natural wheat field that that grew during Indian times, right? I'm sure they've seen this great wheat covered covered field. It's not doing so good in this heat and dryness. Okay, over halfway up. And it looked like they may have intended to build something. I saw this from the bottom and thought it was a building. It's just mat old, old material. That is, nope. That's burn wood now. What is that thing on? I gotta zoom in just quick here. What is that? Is that a bird? Is that a quail? It looks like a quail. Kind of watching me. And then looking down, the church is, is below. You can see how high up I am by the how the landscape moves. I'm going to continue. Oh no. This grass is really offensive. A little bit over more. This is curious. What's with all this? Oh, okay. I was about to say this is fence. But no, this ain't fence. This is actually rebar. They were they actually started in on the work. They got pipes laid, maybe for plumbing, electricity, a rebar. They're gonna build uh, the concrete walls up, but they stopped at the rebar. They changed their mind. And by the looks of the wood, man, it looks like a good ten years ago. On the very top. There's a cross made of steel beams. And of course, people are nice enough to talk to graffiti on it. Love. And <laughs> we remember. <laughs> this is a different kind of graffiti. It's not the offensive kind. Still, it's offensive that it's graffiti. And they built this thing, it's completely empty, and they don't want anybody walking on, around it. That's weird. You can look around, smell the sagebrush, uh, when, where there's no wheat, there's sagebrush that grows and thrives. Got some towers. There's a lot going on down below. There's a golf course next to this. I think that's a sewage treatment plant of some kind. My car is not visible. Yeah. This home, whoops. If you compare this home to uh, what they intended, I think they intended to build a home and then just abandoned the idea. It would have been maybe something like that if the nuclear power plant is visible from here. It would be off in that direction somewhere. Alright, so I'll just walk into the other side of that building that has uh, no trespassing. Wow, there's a lot going on in there. Wow, I've never seen one that's like so much stuff, wires or something. Uh, it's kind of a growing community, kind of a nice mi upper middle class maybe. It's growing. I just want to say this really has that science fiction type of look to it. Never seen one so dark. Maybe, oh, it's all the bird poop. That's why maybe it's so multicolored. It's all that bird poop mixed in. All right, so without cutting it, I see they got 15,000 general dynamics information technology out of, out of SeaTac. I, I don't know, it's, it's kind of old back in January. Or maybe this worth fifteen thousand plus all the generators. It's really it's got a lot of wires. I've never seen one with so many wires. And of course, I'm in the danger zone. 
AT&T Extremely busy at the parks, but not here. <laughs> A little frightened, but I guess this is just all grassland. But what got my attention is this. What is the deal with this? This is beautiful. Some kind of an exercise station. Climb the pole, do pull-ups. I saw a double bar, parallel bar over there. I wasn't too impressed by its appearance because it did look like this, like cheap, but it does the job. Is it evidence that the wa river washed over this sidewalk for not too long ago? What is wrong with this water? It's so cloudy. And I tasted it and it's okay. It seems kind of like there's some kind of chalkiness. Look at this stuff. It looks like milk. And there's a lot of bubbling activity. <laughs> it tastes okay. What's it gonna do to me? It's just general looking around. No bicycles, huh? Leash library? Oh, they hang on the hooks. Okay, I've never seen a leash library before. It's just this little sign. <laughs> That's a first. <clears throat> Save the date. Nope. Here at the dock. Huh. I wonder where that island is. Oh no. Is that for the nuclear stuff? Environmental for the nuclear nuclear surveillance. <laughs> for the nukes. Radiation. Oh no. Hanford.
then from that Hanford environmental surveillance, there's something on the edge of the water up here. It looks curious. <laughs> High voltage, no trespassing. Huh. This is weird. They don't. They got up up high too, and off to the far off the side. These big pipes. People have cut words in them. Strange. Security is really incredible. Why would they put such big blocks on the edge? This thing cannot go down. If this thing goes out of commission. And it's pretty disastrous, I'm guessing, by the size of these blocks alone. Another leash library at the end. And this is the this is the end of the trail pretty much. I want to get to Washington and head over to the Safeway. I have a dead feeling in my gut again. I don't like it. And I'm thinking that maybe, what if I had to, what if I stuck my gut out and then sucked it in, stuck it out, sucked it in, and do, kept doing that. Since I'm not jumping, which I, I you know, I'd, I'd rather have a trampoline or something, but uh, it's really hard to do in public as a, <laughs> as a guy like me. But it's maybe sucking in and sticking out in a rapid pace might help. I can't tell if this is a healthy plant or what. And what the heck is growing on it? Some kind of a, a nut? It doesn't look healthy for some reason. A little used road and the goat heads are really picking up. They're just all over this area. They're doing really good. Tri-Cities Chinese Alliance Church. Imagine how the buffalo would react if you, in the pioneer days, held a sign that said hungry. I take for granted that there's no security patrolling the parking lot in this Walmart, as busy as it is. Never seen a sign. They tell you to dismount your horse. This is pretty nice. Looks like it's been unused for a while though. So the Manta Yakima River. And it's very built up. Maybe it gets more traffic than, than it seems on a Sunday right now. Fishing and boating. Only one of each. I don't think this area gets much traffic yet, it's so built up. I think they anticipated more traffic. There is no graffiti, which actually indicates that there would be low traffic, because a lot of times 
it seems like it's highly populated areas that'll experience the graffiti problems. And it will flood. It will flood. They did put that measure up in a good spot. I was not going to make any comments about this leaf until I felt it. It's kind of got a fuzz to it. The younger one's got even a greater fuzz. I never expected to feel that fuzzy feeling. Seems weird to me. They're relying on the pump station here to water their lawn over there. And I don't know if it's just like what one yard that's relying on that. That seems kind of weird. Not right with this huckleberry. The berries look terrible. All right. And the leaves are kind of shriveled in places and it's just not dropped anything. There's nothing on the ground anyway and there's really nothing on the plant tree. Is it a youth thing? Is it because it's too young or is it under the influence of a nuclear power plant? There seems to be a lot of cars at the Flat Top Event Center. It's West Valley Four Square Church. So maybe it's a shared building. Lighthouse. Huh. Lance and fire truck just went by and there's some kind of a like cloud of smoke over there. Why couldn't they have started that when I was up on top of the hill? Well, this sign says it's 93 degrees out. It's a nice library sign. Glow hike. So there's this food bank I never marked on my map. Um, you're not allowed to bring food into the food bank. Who does that? Thursdays and Saturday. Okay. I don't think I want to wait around for Thursday again. It's Sunday. There's not really nothing for me to do. Right, so I started dozing off. I closed uh, this this sunroof. Started dozing off and I woke up with a feeling I was losing air. So I had to open that back up. Well, as this park seems to be used, it's a Sunday. Hardly anybody's here. I still had a problem with kids r jumping on the, the roof. Looks like they got a little bit of a winery. Right next to the park, <laughs> and I mean, you could just walk from the park through the rows. It's another one like this. I was in a similar situation. Looks like they're coming along pretty nicely. The leaves are edible. They never produce flowers. They just go straight to the berry. All right, so I got my tent in here. And I'm thinking I'm gonna just use it for a cushion for doing sit-ups. It works pretty good. Uh, that's what I've been missing, is a good cushion for my back doing sit-ups. You know, when I think about it, there's been a lot of tents left behind by homeless people. And most homeless people don't even bother with tents. It seems like having this tent is, uh, it's not very ideal. It is probably good to uh, keep um, uh, without, it, it would probably be best to toss the poles, I would think. Just only have the cover and, and use it kind of like a sleeping bag, maybe. Although it's, it's, it's not really rainproof because I need, I need to, this has like two pieces. You gotta like put on a second piece. That's why it takes 10 minutes, I think. It's because you gotta put on this second layer for the rain protection. And that's that's a way to encourage airflow. If you had just one tent enclosure, uh, that you would not have the airflow that you need, I'm guessing. But either way, this is not the most ideal tent because it takes two pieces. And that's why it's 10 minutes. I bet if it was just a one piece, it would it'd, uh, go up a lot faster. But even even though um, a lot of homeless people don't really bother, they leave their tents behind. They just leave them. And, and I, I, it gets me when I come across them. It makes me debate, should I take this? And I usually don't. Um, but I'm like, what, what, what problems are they having with these tents that, that causes the homeless people to just not use them or when they 
do use them just eventually leave them behind. It seems like it's the younger people who are perfectionists who who use the tents. Um, and and you look at I've looked inside a few uh, of the of nice nice tents, and it does look like it's youth youthful people who just have things arranged perfectly and all that. But homeless people they they just they don't they don't have the time to make things look perfect it's like they're obsessive compulsive. I don't think you find many obsessive compulsive homeless people. Gold's Gym with their popular cardio cinema. They play the same movie all day.